question 9. Figure 9.1 shows the cyclohexyl amine. So this one is a primary amine because the nitrogen is bonded to this cyclohexyl. This is the alkyl group. And for this part A, is asking compare the relative basic cities of ammonia, cyclohexyl amine, and the phenyl amine. So first, you need to put which one is the most basic, then after that, which one is the least basic. So if we try to compare the cyclohexyl amine with uh, ammonia, so because ammonia, the nitrogen's not really bonded to any alkyl group, so it's not really as strong as the cyclohexyl amine because this is the alkyl group which can donate electrons to these uh, nitrogens and uh, increase the electron density on this nitrogen. So the lone pair here is more available, means when there is a proton, so it can easily react against the proton. So that's why we say that this uh, cyclohexyl amine is a stronger or is uh, more basic than the ammonia. And of course, ammonia is stronger than the phenyl amine. So why the phenyl amine is the least basic? Because the lone pair on the nitrogen, if you delocalize into the ring, means it will not really uh, available all time. Because the lone pair, sometimes it will get into the ring, and this one is less available. When this one, this lone pair is less available, and when there is a proton, so it's less likely to bond or against this proton. So that's why we say that phenylamine is the least basic among these three. So this is how you explain for the basic city. First, the most basic is cyclohexyl amine followed by ammonia and followed by phenylamine. So phenylamine is the least basic and you just need to explain the most basic and least basic, that's all. So why the cyclohexyl amine is the most basic? Again, alkyl group means this one, this one, alkyl group. In the cyclohexyl amine is electron donating. So which will increase electron density on the nitrogen and make it more available readily to accept the proton. So it's the most basic one, right? So means this one is more available, readily to gain the proton. So why the phenylamine is the least basic? So you must mention lone pair on nitrogen or form nitrogen, delocalize into the ring, which will decrease electron density on nitrogen. Means the electron density here is lesser now. So it's less likely to gain the proton. Right, so it's less available to accept the proton. That's why it's a least basic. Part B. The same compound, cyclohexyl amine, reacts with ethanol chloride, this one, to form this amide. So this is a condensation reaction um, between the the, these two compounds, of course, the name of the mechanism is the nucleophilic addition elimination. You just need to put addition elimination. So later you need to draw the mechanism. Uh, so this is how the reaction goes. So it means uh, the amine with a seal chloride. So you form this amide. Again, Part one, name of the mechanism is addition elimination. Why we call addition? Because the first step here is the amine or the nucleophile 
added to this acyl chloride or a, this acyl carbon. So for this mechanism, you need to draw a few things. First, lone pair on nitrogen, and you need to draw one arrow from the lone pair point to the acyl carbon. And you must put partial positive on the carbon and partial negative on the oxygen. So this carbonyl group. After that, you need to draw one arrow from the CO double bond point to the oxygen to show that the pi bond break and the pair of electrons will move to the oxygen. After that, it will form this intermediate. And this intermediate, you also need to draw a few things. First, because nitrogen now uh, is, uh, is having the uh, four bondings. So one, two, three, four. So you need to put a positive charge there. And you need to show NH bond break. Draw one arrow from NH bond point to nitrogen to show that the lone pair restore. Lone pair on nitrogen restore. And this will remove as the H plus. Another thing you need to draw is the negative charge on oxygen. Put the lone pair on oxygen. Draw one arrow from the lone pair point to the CO bond to show that pi bonds reform. And after that, you need to draw one arrow from C, Cl bond point to the chlorine to show that this bond will break and it will form chloride. So later, HCl, it will combine and means chloride and H plus combine and form HCl. So means later it will form the amides. This one, the amides and the HCl. Part three. This part is uh, uh, going to test how how well you think on the reaction, so whether there is an extra reactions or not. So now the reactions between the cyclohexyl amine with excess of the ethanol chloride will form compound M. And the compound M, the molecular formula is this one, C ten H. 17 and O2. So let's compare the this uh, cyclohexyl amine the formula with uh, the formula of M. So as you can see the carbon number is different by 4 means after reaction it need to add 4 carbon. So it's quite always uh, is telling you that this uh, cyclohexyl amine is going to react with two ethanol chloride because after the reaction four carbons added and two two oxygens added right so therefore this is the reaction means the high the, the hydrogens that bonded to the end these two hydrogen both will react. So one acyl chloride will react with this, another acyl chloride will react with this. So these two will remove as HCl and the new bonds will form between the C and N. Right. So to form this M. So this is the structure of M. You need to draw this only. So that's uh, how you uh, draw the structure based on the comparison. Okay, that's all. Thank you.